Hi musicians, David once more from Transform Musicians. So in this short lesson, we will be going through the atomic major major chord. The atomic which is chords contained in a major scale. When you get the atomic, it means it means to be contained. Not the atomic chord outside the major scale. So we'll be discussing the chords. I am sure, and I hope you've gone through the previous lesson. On how to form a major chord, a minor chord, and a diminished chord. If you have not gone through that, please do. I will drop a link of this of that lesson in the description box below, so you can check it out. It will aid you in understanding this best lesson. Lesson. So, the diatonic major chord. We'll be talking of all uh, the chords that are built from the major scale of any key. We'll be using the number system. The number system tends to be general. Why the key of C contains C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C? The key of C sharp contains C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp, and C sharp. The key of D contains D, E, F. But with the number system, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is the same for all. It applies to all. The way theory sounds, theory sounds like, for example, this is the key of C. This is your theory. This is 1, 3, 5. In the key of C sharp applying same concept, it will also be although there are different keys, but you still have that unique sound. Dun, 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 dun. So we'll be talking in that about the diatonic major chords, various way and their technical names. Okay, so if in the key, we'll be using the key of C, I might move to other keys along the line. So the first chord. To form the major chord, okay, what you should know is that in a major scale, we have seven notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the key of C. The first note is built as a major chord. The fourth note is built as a major chord. The fifth note is built as a major chord. So, in, a, in a, any scale you are playing on, any key you are playing on, the first, the fourth, and fifth are played as major chords. While the second, the third, and the sixth. Are played as minor chord why does the seventh is played as a diminished chord you build it as a diminished chord so to form a major chord the formula is one three five so you just go to the key so this uh the first chord we are building the first chord you go to that note starting from the root note which is one then you play your one three five the next note is this and i said earlier that the second chord the second note is split, built as a minor chord so you apply the formula you assume this to be your one so it will be one you apply the minor chord formula one, one flat three five this is the one two three four one two three four five four three two one minor painter scheme you build the third chord as a minor chord following so a pa fashion but if you find it very difficult to build chord i understand what you can do also is for you to be familiar with your numbers one two three four five six seven one then you you know that your first the nose that make up the first chord combined are one three five the nose that make up the second chord combined irrespective of the key are two four six one two three four five six so you play them together this is your second chord the nose that make up the third chord combined in any key are three five seven Notes that make up the fourth chord combined are four six one. The notes that make up the fifth chord combined are five seven two. The notes that make up the sixth chord combined are six one three. One two three four five six seven one one two three. The notes that make up the last chord, which is built as a diminished chord, are. Seven two four to give you this because we have the B major chord as the diminished chord. You move the third backward, move the fifth backward. So you should know that the first, fourth, and fifth are played as major chords. They are built as major chord. Fourth, fifth. Why the two three six are played as minor are minor chords in the key. So there's always this misconception that. Whenever you play anything beautiful or anything outside the scale, it's called minor. No, that's not the truth. A minor chord consists of a major chord with a flattened third. That's a minor chord. So 
every every key contains a minor chord. So the minor minor chord in any key, uh, uh, minor chords they are built on the second degree, the third degree, the second degree, third degree, and sixth degree. Why the major chords are built on the first, fourth, and fifth degree. So one thing you should know is their technical names. Um, the first chord or the first note is called the root chord because it's the root is it determines the key you are in. The first note is called the root note or the tonic. The second note, the supertonic. We have the third, the median, the fourth. Um, the subdominant, the fifth, the dominant, the sixth, the submediant, the seventh, leading notes, and back to the tonic. So, so when you hear someone say play, uh, when you see someone, hear someone say the leading note, you know that the person is talking of the seventh. So, in what you should take note of is that in any key, the major chord is played as one, three, five combined. Second chord, two, four, six combined. Third chord, three, five, seven, which is a minor chord. Fourth chord. One way to know a major chord and a minor chord also is that this is C major chord. In between the first first notes, we have three 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 notes in between. But in a minor chord, we have two notes in between. So the, in any key, in the key of C sharp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. One, three, five major chord. Two, four, six minor chord. Three, five, seven minor chord. Four, six, four major chord. Five, seven, two major chords. Just like that, and so on and so forth. So that's the trick. So what you should do now is to learn how to play your chords, your major chord. Your finger one, three, and fifth will be uh, suitable. Will be will be comfortable for you. It will be better to use makers of that finger. But if you are comfortable with others, uh, there's no problem with that. But the one, three, five finger will be comfortable. Try practicing them. Try knowing them. Try knowing the, their positions, how to form them. That's the first note. You build it as a major chord. The second note, you build it as a minor chord. The third is minor. So in the next lesson or or in of in further lessons, we talk about how to use the circle of fifth to build uh to build the chords or to know the chords of a major scale. So thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. It's uh, uh, it's a way of supporting me. It's a way of encouraging me to post more of these. Thanks very much for your support. Share with your friends.